What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I am going to be talking about a relatively new project called Seeds. This is another project that gives a valid use case for NFTs and I really think you guys should stick around. I know a lot of people when they hear the word NFT they get turned off but this project has a really good use case and I'm going to tell you guys about that. I actually heard about this from a member in my discord so if you guys are interested in learning about projects before i make videos on them please be sure to join that discord the link is in the description as always something i want to say before i start this video and i will be making a separate video on my goals for 2022 but my whole goal with this youtube channel is to not give you guys projects that i believe are bad and i would never try to give you guys a project that i wouldn't put my own earnings into because I don't want to scam you guys. I want to make sure that I'm finding the good projects and picking out the ones that have potential and have a future. A lot of the crypto projects and cryptocurrencies that are made from 2021 are not going to make it to the end of 2022. So I think it's very important that there's people out there like me who are trying to give you guys actual good projects where if you are interested in participating, you can. So I just wanted to say that and get that out of the way. Let's get into talking about seeds because that's why you guys came here. So like most projects, they do have a white paper. If you guys want to learn more information about them and you want to read on your own time, I will have that linked in the description as well as an FAQ page so you guys can see the frequently asked questions. And most of them are going to be answers that I actually do discuss in this video. But if you guys would like to read them and you don't want to rewatch this video, the links will be in the description so you guys can check those out. But Zeeds is a play for purpose game. This is something that has really never been done before. And its whole goal is to raise awareness, generate financial contributions, and build a community around the issue of global warming and climate change. It's the fun and easy segue into taking climate action and the blueprint for a next generation of purpose-driven games. So obviously, when you guys hear about climate change, you probably get turned off because a lot of the times when they bring it up, it is not in a happy setting. And a lot of people just feel like they don't have the time to deal with this kind of stuff. But having something creative like this, I think is the perfect way to go head on with climate change and battle it. As most of you are already aware, most countries and companies are trying to be carbon neutral by the year 2050 around that time, some sooner, some later. So having a project like this, I think is going to be a great way to go into the next couple of decades and actually attack climate change and try and get these carbon emissions down. So the white paper is talking about how these games are going to be played for a greater good. If you were to think about a normal video game you play, I'm sure everybody has played a video game at some point in their life. The only thing you get out of that is a little bit of serotonin when you win the game, but pretty much there's no real world implications. There's nothing you can win that is physical. So with seeds, there are actually three outcomes that are, they are trying to achieve with their play for purpose platform. The first of which is being generating financial contributions. So most of the in-game purchases of play for purpose games are automatically turned into direct financial contributions to nonprofit actors that su support the specific cause. Blockchain technology allows for highly secure and transparent payout mechanisms while also enabling supportive corporate actors to invest in the project because purpose and profit can go hand in hand. Secondly, they want to create awareness and knowledge, and I will get into that further with the NFTs. The NFTs are very interactive. And finally, number three is going to be building a purpose-driven community. This will be discussed a little bit later in the video with the NFTs. I just wanted to tell you guys that there are three major outcomes, and this is going to be in the white paper. So now I'm going to discuss a little bit about the NFTs because this is a major part of the project and there are a couple different tiers. I believe there's common, rare, epic, and legendary. Depending on what tier you have will actually determine its value, but that is not it because you see, if you can actually get a common seed, you can actually plant it, you can grow it, and it can actually turn into a rare, epic, or even legendary. One quick thing I did want to add is that not every seed can actually evolve to a legendary. Think of it much like Pokemon, where some Pokemon can evolve three times and other can only evolve two, and getting to that second rarity is not as rare as getting to the third rarity. So just keep that in mind, not every single seed will be able to evolve into a legendary, but if you buy packs that include multiple different common seeds, you have a higher chance of evolving one of those into a legendary in the future. 
So these NFTs, which are called seeds, are actually able to be planted in a real world map. This way, the gameplay and environmental purpose are all interweaved right from the start. So different seeds need different weather conditions, and this is going to be the educational aspect. So players are going to have to research in-game educational resources to learn about the specifics for that climate zone for that specific seed. So for instance, some areas might need more water, and some areas might need less water. If you're growing like a cactus seed, you're not going to need as much water as if you're growing a rainforest seed which gets rain all the time so it is really cool that you're going to be able to interact with the real world map you're going to be able to use real world data and you're going to be able to get water and get food and feed the plants grow them evolve them and there's two different ways that you can actually participate in this game you can either pay to win which i know some people just like doing that they like unlocking everything i don't know how people can do that but there is going to be a marketplace that is going to be launched so you can buy the necessary resources to not only grow your seedle but also to evolve it so that is just something to consider you can also play to win which is what most people are going to be doing which in this case you're going to be just completing challenges and i'm sure you're going to be learning about the educational uh, aspect of the world of the climate and figuring out okay i'm going to need a certain amount of water for this plant in this environmental zone and et cetera. And it just goes on like that. So I think it's a really cool way to actually integrate education with NFTs. And in all honesty, a project like this is something I could personally see in schools in the upcoming years, because it is something that is just so educational and it's so rewarding because it's teaching people and generations about the importance of climate and how it plays into not only growing plants, but taking care of things. And then they have their special little twist with it with the evolutions and stuff like that so when you actually purchase the nfts a portion of the earnings go directly to a contribution to an environment focused project in the seeds project pool and the cool part about these environment focused projects is you actually get to choose which ones you want to put the money towards so it is actually a 50 50 split between the board of sustainability consisting of scientists nonprofit actors and activists and the seeds community and they each have a weight of 50%. These votes are casted in a transparent fashion and regular intervals using secure and fault-proof blockchain technology. So you'll actually be able to choose the projects that this money is going towards. And I think that's a really good idea because a lot of the times when you are donating money to companies and projects, you don't know where the money is actually going. Now you actually have a chance to vote where you want the money to go. And there will be scientists and nonprofit actors all probably giving an explanation as to why you should choose this one over this one or why, for instance, we'll choose this one this month and a different one the next month because both of them are good projects and we want to make a financial contribution to both of them. So they are going to be launching their own currency called Fruise, and I believe I'm saying that right. But basically, the cool thing about this is every transaction that is taken or that is made is going to have a fee of approximately 1% deducted. And this fee which is a lot of people might say big is going to be automatically transferred to one of the projects in the seeds project pool so that is something that is great you're not going to have to think about it you're just going to be doing transactions and the fee is automatically deducted now the actual group behind seeds you are able to go on their website and click the team and almost every one of these people have a linkedin you can probably connect with the some of them but you can see their whole history and i think that's a really important thing in the crypto world because there's not a lot of projects that are so transparent having a transparent project shows people that you can trust them and that if anything were to go wrong these people can be held accountable not to say anything will go wrong but it just gives an extra layer of safety now this is actually going to be used through the flow blockchain and you can see flow is on coin market cap right now for about eight dollars but they have a blockchain protocol and it's a proof of stake similar to what ethereum is trying to get into but many cryptocurrencies are already getting into such as flowverse and this is great because you can see the rankings for the top projects on this network and they have a couple different projects that are actually very successful one of which being nba top shot which is essentially digital nba cards and nba uh, nfts so you can actually go on this and check it out if you want to but i'm going to be talking about seeds obviously they are a new project and they are already ranked 10th with $1.2 million they've already made in this pre-sale that they have launched. I think that's very, very impressive, especially since they're beating companies such as CNN, which is a well-known company. So you're probably wondering at this point, how do you buy it? One of the cool things with this project in comparison to other projects when you're trying to buy an NFT is most of the times you have to jump through a lot of hoops to actually buy an NFT. If you want to buy it on, for instance, OpenSea, you have to send Ethereum to a wallet, send it to another wallet for the most part, and then you have to pay the vicious gas fees. The gas fees are just ridiculous. 
So something that they thought about and they actually discussed this because they don't want to be using a blockchain for the initial presale because they want this to be a mainstream product so you can actually purchase the presale with credit cards. So if you click see the packs, it'll take you down here so you can actually see all the different packs that you can purchase. You can either buy a single common, you can buy double, triple, and there's a whole bunch of different options you can choose from going all the way up to legendary. However, the legendary have already sold out. There are only 248 left for the epic. So if anyone is interested in getting one of these epic seeds, they are available. You can also purchase early family member and early family VIP. I believe these give access to the discord and they give you a special role in the discord and they will also give you some special roles. You'll be able to beta test the app before they are launched and the prices compared to other projects is very competitive. A lot of NFT projects, especially on OpenSea, as I said before, they are very expensive and sometimes you're even paying more for the NFT with gas fees than the actual price of the NFT. So I think it's really awesome that they decided to go with credit cards for the first run and once again this is just the pre-sale now it does end on sunday january 16th so there are a couple days left to actually purchase this so just keep that in mind if you are trying to get into this nft pre-sale it will be closing on the sunday january 16th one thing i wanted to add is you are not going to be receiving the nft immediately on purchase what's going to happen is after sunday january 16th when this all closes credit card purchases will no longer be a thing and then from here on out they will use the flow coin and you'll be able to buy it with either flow or flow usd which is fusd and that is just because they are going to be transitioning over to the blockchain. So then at that point, they will start issuing the NFTs. But not to worry, if you do purchase an NFT through here, you will be getting the NFT when they switch over to the blockchain. And like I said in the beginning of the video, there is an FAQ that answers a lot of questions. So if I didn't answer everything in this video, you guys can always comment down below and I will do my best to join. Seeds also has their own Discord, so you can go in there and ask questions. They have a dedicated channel to ask questions. They also have AMAs, which are Ask Me Anythings, pretty much every week. I think that is what they're planning on doing, so that is just something to consider. You can also join my Discord, and I will do my best to answer the questions, but I wanted to put this on your radar if you guys are interested in something that is an NFT that actually has purpose, similar to last week how I talked about Demo. This is something that I think you guys would be interested in looking into. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. But I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.